unlucky that someone has to sit out every night. And uh, obviously, you know, some guys are going to be a little bit ticked off about it at times. But in saying that, um, it makes a great competition and it's only going to make our team better, which is, and that's what we want. And the team's facilitating a good transition game. Are you guys from the blue line passing to a spot as opposed to passing to a player to, to maintain that speed? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's what, you know, we, we try to focus on a lot is, uh, you know, puck movement and getting in forwards' hands, and that's kind of what we've been preaching all year. And the last game, it was actually, you know, the past couple games against Pittsburgh, it was, it was pretty tough. It was tight checking out there, and, um, you know, I think everyone's been talking the last game. It's kind of a playoff-like atmosphere and not much room out there to gain a lot of speed. So that's kind of when you just uh, chip the pucks in and, and uh, try to get a forward check on. Early in this year, uh, you guys were way ahead of Ottawa, then they got way ahead of you, and now you got a chance to pull back. Can you talk about the ebb and flow in the Ottawa series this year? Yeah, it's been a, a great battle, and you know they've obviously you know surprised a lot of teams this year and, and played great hockey and have had great goaltending. So um, you know, and I think the past couple of games they've, they've had our number, and you know these are games that we need. It's obviously a great rivalry for us, Battle of Ontario, and. Um, you know, we, we've been getting points lately, but uh, we, we've kind of struggled a little bit against um, divisional teams. And you know, you need you need to get those wins and get those points. And um, Ottawa's a great challenge for us again. And you know, it's going to be tough playing in their building, but uh, we look forward to it and hopefully continue to build on you know what we started here over the past few games. Off the ice, you guys doing some workouts and stuff today? Weights and what's up today? Yeah, just uh, just bike ride and. Um, yeah, pretty much just kind of like recovery day, just a bike ride and a couple less from the trainer and uh, nothing from the coaches today. In addition to uh, one of you guys always being scratched, I think the coach said he's pretty much going to play the four best guys and you know, the other two guys are out to get a few minutes. Is that uh, the democratic way, the, the meritocracy way that the, the four best guys get the most minutes? The four guys that are going that game, basically. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, uh, you know, obviously it's it's up to us. It's, it's totally his decision and... Uh, who he plays, and I think the good thing is right now is is all our defensemen are playing good, so at least we're making a tough on him. And and uh, you know I think it's a tough decision on who's going to sit out every game. I think everyone's deserving and, and showing they can play right now. And um, you know not too many guys are are bringing anyone down or bringing the team down at all right now. So it's a good competition to have. And obviously you know us as defensemen, you, you never want to be that guy sitting out and everyone's kind of fighting for their minutes and and fighting to stay in games, but like I said, it's, it's only going to help our team going forward here and, and uh, you know help us down the stretch. James' uh, key attribute is the fact that he battles, and I know he seemed to be struggling a little bit early on to get back into it, but he just continued to battle and got in a flow. Uh, you see it that way from the blue line? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's probably obviously tough going into that game for him last night. He hasn't played in such a long time and probably a little bit nervous and, and uh, you know, just wanted so badly to, to have a great game. and. Um, you know, it couldn't have turned out better for obviously him and for our team. He's he's worked extremely hard in practice and uh, battled back to to get himself in that position to get another start. And he had a great game last night. And you know, it's it's going to I think do a lot going forward for his confidence and obviously for our team too. Now we have uh, two goalies on top of the game right now, and that's what you need going down the stretch. And um, you know, we've always had confidence in both our goalies, but uh, you know, when you got goalies that are are helping you win games and, and keeping those you know goals against down, it's only going to